know, and that's still using the, the normal theory. I'm sure that cos beta cubed sin beta cubed is equals to 1 over 32 into 3 sin 2 theta minus 6 sin theta. Solution. First, we need to know that uh, that when we take uh, 2 cos uh, theta cubed, then this is the same as uh, z plus 1 over z, then cubed. And also, we also need to know that uh, j2 sin theta cubed, this is the same as z minus 1 over z, then cubed. These are the basics of the complex numbers. Uh -huh. so, so if we have this, and then therefore, we can say that uh, cos theta cubed sine theta cubed sine theta cubed will be equal to now will be equal to this, which is um, when we cube this we have eight. When we cube two we have eight. Then we have cos, cos beta cubed. Then this, when you cube j, we have dot uh, j cubed. Then we have two, when you cube two, you have eight. And of course, you have sine, sine beta cubed. Therefore, this will be equal to. The product of this and that will be equal to z plus 1 over z cubed dot z minus 1 over z cubed like that. But j cubed is negative 1, therefore, when you multiply here. We shall have um, when you multiply here, we shall have negative this negative one. So eight so we have no negative, this will be negative j negative j sixty four eight times eight cos theta cubed sine theta cubed. Uh, so uh, this equals to now we can write this one as as z plus one over z z minus one over z then cubed then cubed so we can write this can write this as um, write this one as, as z minus one all over z d squared then cubed. Remember this is a difference of two squares when you take a plus b and a minus b you get a squared minus minus b squared. So we are applying this concept of a difference of two squares to expand this. So it will be z squared minus one of z, z squared, then of course cubed. Mm -hmm. So let me wrap here. So 
of the assignment negative changed for cos beta cubed sine beta cubed equals to z squared minus 1 over z squared then cubed then cubed Now we want to use binomial expansion to expand this. So here we shall have, when we expand that, we shall have, we are expanding the right, the right hand side. So we shall have z squared dot minus one all over z squared. This is raised to three. This is raised to zero plus z squared raised to two dot negative one all over z squared raised to one plus z squared raised to one dot minus one all over z raised to two then plus z squared raised to zero dot minus one all over z squared raised to three raised to three okay so here we have so here we have so this will be z raised to 6 because this will be 1 then here we shall have this is raised to 1 so this we shall make the negative so it will be minus um, this is z raised to 4 z raised to 2 so we cancel then we remain the minus z squared then the power is positive, so this will be positive here. Yeah? The power is even, so it will be positive, so it will be plus. Aha, so this is x squared. This is this is this is square. So this will be set raised to four. So when we cancel the remain with one all over z squared, we shall have one all over z squared. Then of course here we have minus one all over z raised to six then we need to input the coefficients of binomial expansion so the it was raised to three so the coefficients you can use the pascal's triangle so one plus one that is two then you have one 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 plus two three two plus one three like that so the coefficients of raise to 3 will be 1, 3, 3, 1. So this is 1. This is 3. This is 3. Then that is 1. So that's what we have. So once we have this, we start adding from the extreme. So this will be equal to from extreme. Can we prepare ourselves to be z raised to 6 minus 1 all over z raised to 6. And then of course we have minus 3 into z squared then minus 1 over z squared so we had from the extremes now from the introduction you realize that this one this one is is a uh, j2 sine 6 Beta and this one is j2 sine 2 beta like that. So if that is the case, then we can write this one as.
therefore this equals to now we have this which is k k2 sine sine 6 theta and then here we have negative 3 here we have k2 so we multiply uh, 3 and 2 so that we have minus k k6 sine 2 sine 2 theta hmm. So here we can we can divide through by negative j. You can divide through by negative j here so that you remain with so we have negative negative j negative j negative j so that here we remain with is four cos beta sine beta equals to here we remain with the two negative beta okay so here we remain with negative two sine beta then here we remain with plus here we remain with plus negative one negative with the plus so we have plus six sine two theta so this equals to six sine two theta minus two sine this is six six beta six beta this is six six beta by one okay so um so you can divide it through by 64 so that you remain with cos beta sine beta cube equals 2. You factorize out 2 here so that we have 2 all over 64 into here we remain with 3 sine 2 theta minus sine minus sine 6 beta. This equals 2 will be. 2 here 1, 2 here 32, will be 3 sine 2 theta minus 6, minus sine 6 theta. So we have, we have proved that. Thank you for watching and listening.